Hey guys, Lord of Pontel here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about province immigration. So you may have seen my uh, video a couple of weeks ago that I posted about how you can move a Newcastle between different states. But what happens if uh, your castle is A, over level 6, and B, you're more than 15 days into the game? Will you be able to move your castle from the original province that you started in? And the answer to that is yes and no, depending on what stage of the game you're, you've got to. Province immigration event will open after season one of Reign of Chaos has finished. So for those of you in a really young state, if your castle is more than 15 days old, but you haven't got to the end of Reign of Chaos yet, then, uh, then you're not going to be able to move. But once, um, once Reign of Chaos Season 1 is finished, if you click into events, you'll see a new event come up, which will be Provin immigration, Province Immigration. The Lords can migrate to other provinces during the event. And if you look at where I am in 55, it says Event in Progress. And basically, Province Immigration is constantly in progress once it's activated after Season 1 of Reign of Chaos. So you can move your castle to another um, state at any time after that. But there are quite a few uh, caveats to the system. So first, if we just go into the game instruction screen, and you'll see, for any of you who wants to look at it, there is a province immigration section, and you can just click into that. So let's just have a quick overview of what this tells us. When the event starts, Lords can select their desired province to immigrate to. Immigration event becomes available after the province is open for 21 weeks. Immigration condition. You must be higher than a level 10 castle and not in hero duel. And immigration range. Immigration range is matched based on initial province. The top ranking provinces of each grouping will limit the entry of high rating lords. Immigration range will grow as the time progresses. Detailed entry range can be viewed in the event interface, so we will have a look at that in a minute. Immigration cost. So in that other video, when you're moving your new castle, your young castle, in the first 15 days, or C6 or lower, you get that newbie teleport option um, automatically in your account. But to migrate using the um, immigration event, you will need immigration permits and I'll show you how you get those in a minute. Um, unfortunately to get a permit you have to purchase them using real money via packages and they'll only be um, one cheap permit a month. So for those of you that are in younger states I would suggest if, you're, if you think your state isn't that powerful um, you might want to start thinking about buying permits even from the first month that you're playing the game so that as your castle develops you have enough permits um, to be able to afford to move. And if you look here, there, there is a rating system which again I will go through in a minute. Um, and this, this immigration rating here is not your castle power, it's a, it's a separate rating system. And you can need anything between one immigration permit up to a maximum of 10. Um, so if you were purchasing permits one a month at the cheaper rate, you would need, and you, you potentially could need up to 10 months to save for enough immigration permits. And a lot of people that play the game have moved states. So it's worth considering. There's not, there's not a lot of players. It just, it just depends on how your own state develops or um, you know what friends you make in other states during Clash of Province, etc. Uh, how your, your your castle develops. Immigration rating. The rating is tallied by combining building, tech, troops, and hero power. Detailed rating info can be viewed in the immigration interface. Immigration result. So your castle data. After immigrating, all personal data, buildings, troops, and techs will be kept. Alliance relationship. After immigrating, the alliance relationships will be kept. So you can migrate to a different state, but still be in the same alliance. Um, so that's that's an interesting notion. But most people do migrate and then join 
an original alliance from that new state. Reign of Chaos data, so after immigration, season data will be tallied personally, um, as in territories, buildings, influence value, points, raw materials will be wiped. So this is something you want to be uh, considering. If you were moving during the middle of a Reign of Chaos season, you're going to have all of your buildings, uh, influence value and points that you've gathered and even your raw materials, they will get reset and you'll have to start again. But your specialty level isn't affected by migration. One good thing, if you did have any wounded units in a coalition base camp, they will be recovered for free. And then immigration cooldown. So, you, so the cooldown is 30 days. So once you've moved to another state, you can only move again after another 30 days which is probably going to be unlikely isn't it um, and then the hero information so season hero recruitment if moved to a higher season province than the initial province then season recruitment becomes available after 30 days and heroes one season above the current province season will be prohibited from joining combat i.e. if the province passed season one then highest season heroes that can be used are season two heroes Season 1 rewards will be S2 heroes, so on and so forth. If there are prohibited heroes in the Legion, then the Legion cannot march. So you you have to, if you're going from an older state to a younger state, potentially uh, you can only do, you would only be able to use the current season heroes available in your new state. So that's all the kind of information on the game instructions. So let's go into the actual event page for immigration. So you just click on events down into province immigration. You're going to get the range of states available to you that you can move to. Now you can't move to every state in the game. It's just not going to let you do that. Uh, because for instance, if you were, I don't know, in, in one of the first 20 states, for instance, and you've got a very powerful completed castle with maxed master research, and if you then move to state 100, for instance, you would be able to dominate that state. So the game limits the range of states that you can immigrate to to maintain a level playing field, a fair playing field for all the all the members of the, of, of the game, all the players in the game. So on this province immigration screen, there are several things that we want to look at. So first off at the top is this banner which says um, is states for in the UK it costs 489 so if we click on that this is the option that allows you to purchase the immigration permit so as you can see limit purchase once a month start a new journey with province migration so you can purchase one of these cheaper immigration permits a month and then if you wanted to purchase any more in the same month, the price jumps to the top level cost. So in the UK, it's 96.99. So that's just, as I say, it's something to consider um, that if you are thinking of migrating, you, you might need to give yourself several months notice or head start in terms of purchasing. If you're not a big spender, you just want to purchase that one immigration permit a month. Myself personally, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it says um, your initial province was 53 and my alliance decided to move to 55. I actually did have to wait a month to uh, move because I needed, um, I think at the time it was six immigration permits. So it took time to, to collect those. Um, if we look here so this is where you get told what your immigration rating is so as you can see mine is 18.7 million and if you click on the little information icon next to it it will show you how the game gets gets that score so total rating 18.7 million so that's your building rating 2.6 million tech rating 5.6 million for me troop rating which is 3.1 million uh, now this isn't your this is where it differs slightly. It's not your total troop count, for instance. Um, it's it's the level of development that you have on your troops. So um, T9 or you know T7, T8, T9, etc. Um, and then hero power, hero rating is um, 
mainly down to how much you have developed your your heroes how much wisdom medals you've used what kind of level skills do they have um, that's going to affect your hero rating and as you can see um, hero rating and tech rating are the two elements that have the biggest impact on your total rating for me at 18.7 million immigration rating I would need nine immigration permits to move so if I wanted to move I now potentially I'd have to save permits for seven or eight months um, before I could move if I was only spending a little bit a month so when we look down the options here so as I said it's a limited range so for us in 55 and it was the same for us when we we're in 53 we could move from states 41 to 56 this is the range of states that we face in our reign of chaos seasons and that's what the game limits limits it to um, at this point so we can't move any either side lower than 41 and we couldn't go to a higher state than 56 um, you'll see that there every state except for 46 and 47 says grand opening so if a state has the grand opening status that means that you can migrate to that state with any level of castle um, power and immigration rating but as it said in the instructions so again to try and make it a balanced playing field for us all they won't let the top two states in your group uh, be able to um, invite just anyone the top level castles to join them uh, and because you could just end up with a monopoly where you had a state which had super power all the strongest accounts in your whole zone could all be in the same state and again it's just to kind of ensure there is a certain level of fairness in the game that states you there are you're going to have a, a reasonable spread of the strongest players across the states so if we just click on state 46 which has semi opening and you click on the i icon it gives all this kind of information so province strength 1,541,000,000 and province strength is the sum of the top 100 lords immigration ratings province strength refreshes every hour when province rankings change immigration opening status will change as well as you can see group ranking so this is the second highest in terms of its province strength province 47 is going to be ranked number one and immigration status so semi opening ratings so only minus two million immigration rating castles are allowed entry and exit and anyone with more than two million can exit that state um, it's going to tell you a little bit of information about the state as well province history how old it is clash of province grouping so they're in legendary division uh, reign of chaos season so they're into x because they're doing eden with us and then season hero limit so a maximum of season x can be used so that's information for 46 just a slight check so let's just look at say if i was looking to move to state 54 i've got a couple of friends there so you'll just see their ranking is fourth but because they're not in the top two they have grand opening still and you see it says fully open allows free entry and exits and they're in gold division so that was uh, that's the slight difference as i say the the top two ranking states in your group you will not be able to move every type of castle into those and i actually know for instance state 47 is very popular there's even a waiting list to get into that state so you know you're going to end up with certain states in each groupings um, that are going to be very popular with players let's have a look at how you would actually physically move to a different state so say if i did want to join my friends in state 54 i can just click head to province it will show me the corresponding location in that province to where my castle currently is in my home province so if you select any empty tile you'll see you have these four options and on the right hand side it has the province immigration option with this scroll click on that and it's going to give you the instructions so it will tell you your immigration rating your migration costs so how many of those migration permits you're going to need so as I said I need nine it will tell you the conditions. so 
Castle level higher than 10 to migrate. Immigration rate requires immigration item. Item cost depends on your immigration rating. Province, same group, ranking top two cannot be moved into and your immigration cooldown is 30 days. The result, all buildings, troops, technology will be kept. After the immigration cannot use heroes higher than the target province season heroes. All event data will be wiped for your reign of chaos, as we said, but your specialization points remain and coalition base camp units will all be healed. If we look here, it will tell you if you have moved within the last 30 days and there's a cooldown activated. As I haven't moved, there is no cooldown activated for this account. It will tell you here in this little section how many immigration permits you have already. So I have just the one and it tells you here immigration permits. So I'd need nine to move. So if I wanted to move, I would click on the immigration button if I had enough permits it would then give me a confirmation screen that I want to move if you click OK your accounts going to immigrate to that province if you needed another permit you can see here that it gives you a quick link into the purchase screen to obtain the immigration permits in the purchase center and that's it guys if you have enough permits and you click immigration on that screen then you're going to move to your new state so that's everything about province uh, province migration immigration it's a good function in the game if um, you know you you're not having a good time in a specific state and you have friends or you've or you've made friends in another state or you hear that another state is developing well um, I would suggest usually you want to try and make that decision about migrating within the first six months of of playing the game because as you can see when you get to these later levels a c24 or a c25 castle you're going to need potentially four or five or more tickets to to move and then once you've been playing for a year like i have you're going to need an awful lot of permits either eight nine or ten permits potentially to be able to move your account and if you're not a big spender in the game, then you would have to build up those permits over many months. So is province immigration is something you want to think about from very early stages in the game, guys. All right. So that's everything for this video. Thanks very much for watching as ever. I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting on the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, like, share, and of course, leave any comments that you have below. And I'll see you soon.